clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. In Kali, there are both passive and active discovery tools that operate at layers 2, 3, and 4 of the OSI model. In this video, we are going to discuss layer 2 discovery tools. And the first one that we are going to discuss is called rping. rping uses address resolution broadcast packets to ping systems on the local area network. It's faster than the traditional ICMP ping, but cannot be used for remote hosts, only hosts on your local network. To perform a standard layer 2 ping, Open a shell and enter the basic command from any directory. The command is rping, followed by the host address that you want to perform the ping on. This will continue to send packets until you stop it using control C. We can also specify the number of packets that we want to send by using the dash C switch. So enter the same command again, followed by dash C for count, and then specify the number of packets. So we'll just send one. To better understand what's going on here, we'll open up Wireshark from a separate shell. Wireshark is a packet analyzer that will allow us to see in detail the traffic that is being sent back and forth between your Kali system and the target that you are attempting to ping. So in the filter, we'll enter eth.type equals equals 0x0806. This hexadecimal value will allow us to filter out only ARP packets. Then we'll start sniffing and run the command again. Then we'll look back at Wireshark, and what is taking place here may look intimidating, but it's actually fairly simple. We are broadcasting the Layer 2 ARP request, asking who has the pinged Layer 3 IP address. And then we're receiving a reply back from that system, if it's alive, indicating its physical location or its Layer 2 address. You can also perform layer 2 discovery using nmap. Use the command nmap-pr to specify ARP packets, then dash sn to disable the port scan, and then enter the range of IPs that you want to perform the discovery on. And we almost immediately receive a response that 9 hosts are up. So we'll open up Wireshark once again to see what's going on in the background, and we'll start a new session. And then we'll run the command one more time. By analyzing this traffic in Wireshark, you will see that the local area network is flooded with ARP requests for each IP address within the range. And then any hosts that actually are alive are replying with their MAC address associated with the IP address that was pinged. Finally, NetDiscover is another good tool for Layer 2 discovery. To perform a basic ARP scan, use the command netdiscover-r, followed by the IP range, using the slash 24 notation. And this will scan the entire class C range. This is helpful because it actually includes a little bit more information to include IP address, MAC address, and MAC vendor. We can also perform this scan passively to only listen for ARP broadcasts from other systems using the dash P switch. This will take longer but will allow you to discover hosts without ever interacting with them. So those are some tools that can be used to perform Layer 2 discovery, both actively and passively.